Hi, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford in the WWL Forecast Center, and we're just getting you the latest update on Hurricane Sally. A couple of good things with this update at 1 a.m., the advisory from the National Hurricane Center. So let's get to our map. Hurricane Sally is still a, a strong hurricane. It has 90 mile per hour winds. It is moving uh, right now not very much at all, so the movement has not changed at this time, but it is now having winds of just 90 miles per hour. So that does put it back at category one status on the high end of a category one. It is gusting still up to 120 miles per hour, but for those maximum sustained winds, the National Weather Sur or National Hurricane Center has gone with 90 miles per hour. So a couple of the trends that we've been talking about lately with wind shear and some dry air moving in, those are things that we are seeing um, probably contributing to that lowered wind speed for Sally. So good to see the winds go down at least. Uh, not great to see it just hovering there, although with the track shifted to the east as of late Monday night, it is still looking like uh, most of inland Louisiana is going to see much lesser effects and much less intense impacts than what we were thinking, of course, as the center was located uh, for the path over our area and has now shifted pretty far to the east. So at the 10 p.m. forecast track path update from the National Hurricane Center, you can see the path went all the way to the Mississippi Alabama state line with a landfall there maybe early Wednesday morning, potentially as a category two storm by that point. So again, nice to see the winds down. That's good. That's indicating a little bit of weakening. Pressure though is still at 986 millibars and note that the center is about 75 miles east southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. But note the three mile per hour speed. So it's really not moving much at all. A couple of other differences that we saw the storm surge warning map has been adjusted downward a little bit for eastward uh, facing shorelines in Plaquemines and St. Bernard and into coastal Mississippi. All of that area is now looking at about potentially six to nine foot surge at the peak if the peak did coincide with high tide for the lakes three to five or so feet, mainly for the South Shore and not quite so much for the North Shore because of the direction of the winds and then two to four feet along our coast for Grand Isle and on toward uh, Port Fouchon. It could be more like one to three or so and one to two in Terrebonne Parish south of Homa. So the storm surge numbers came down a little bit at 10 p.m. And as we look at our rain totals, that has definitely uh, decreased for those forecast rain totals across most of southeast Louisiana, one to two or so indicated by the blue colors. Purple indicates roughly about two. When you get to the red over towards Slidell and into Mississippi and along St. Bernard and Plaquemines, that's about three. So we'll say maybe two to four on the high end, maybe five. And then those yellows, of course, is where it really increases to 10 to 15 inches now expected over toward extreme uh, eastern Mississippi and more so into Alabama as well now as the track has shifted that way. As for Hancock County, we might see about possibly three to maybe up to seven or so inches. But if it does continue looking like it might track east, uh, that could go down a bit for those of you in Hancock County. Taking a look outside on our radar imagery right now, here is what we're seeing in New Orleans. Uh, not or just a minute now, my graphics computer uh, wanting to kind of uh, malfunction a little bit as it's been on for many hours at this point. But let me just show you the radar really quickly. Uh, this is what we're seeing as far as the radar goes. We're seeing some showers off to the east, but nothing really into uh, southeast Louisiana right now, aside from maybe a shower or sprinkle over southern Plaquemines Parish. So again, just to get you quick, um, quickly updated, and we'll get you right back to programming in just a second. Uh, Hurricane Sally has weakened a bit for the wind speeds. The pressure, though, still 986 millibars and sl so slowly moving west at three miles per hour. The forecast path again is off to the east. So that'll do it for now. We'll have much more coming up on the eyewitness news starting early today at 3 a.m. And we'll be on through the morning, keeping you updated all through the daytime hours on Tuesday. Although, as you saw for Louisiana, many of those impacts are going to be very much lessened and really minimal compared to what uh, really a hurricane could bring for landfalling locations, which again is shifted mostly out of Louisiana at this point as far as those high impacts go. So that'll do it for now. Thanks for joining me. We'll send you back now to regular programming.